Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video and watching uh, the Awaken videos that we've been doing recently. Hopefully you've been enjoying them and getting something from it. I uh, know I'm excited and I've been love watching the other leaders do their videos. Um, so we are just starting the Storyteller um, kind of series that we're going to be doing. So I thought, why not start with a story? All right, so... There was a CEO, and he was uh, in charge of this big business, this big industry. And they were looking into getting a new Im investors. So he called three of his employees to come into the house, to the office, and he gave them each different amounts of money. To the first one, he gave $50,000. To the second, he gave $20,000. To the third, he gave $10,000. He told them, I'm going to give you a month and you can go free and invest these in whatever you see. Try to vary your portfolio, try to look into different areas. After a month, we'll meet up again and we'll see how you did. A month passed and it's time for the meeting. So all three men enter. And the first one um, approaches the CEO and he asks, how did it go? He said, well, I was able to um, strike some luck and I found some different investments, some different stocks that I could invest in, and we were able to earn $50,000, so now we have 10000 The CEO was thrilled by this. He was blown away. He said, this is exactly who I've been looking for. Um, please, come aboard. You will be one of our new investors, and we'll continue to give you even more to invest in. And so he was employed. Then the CEO asked the second man, okay, how did it go for you? And he said, well, I didn't have as much luck as the first guy, but I was able to get some stocks that did really well. And we were able to earn $20,000, making a total of $40,000. The CEO was thrilled with this as well and said, this is exactly what I've been looking for. Please come aboard. You'll be one of our new investors and we'll give you more to invest in. So the CEO looks at the third man and says, so how did it go for you? And he said, well... I know your past history that you have invested in stocks, invested in companies that didn't go well. That they went under right away. So I wanted to play it safe. I put the money directly in the bank and I just took it out. So here's the $10,000 back. The CEO was furious at this. He said, I wanted to look for somebody who would invest my money, who would take these risks and try to gain more to go out there. And you just sat with it. So he took the money and he gave it to the first man, and then he fired the third man from the company. Now, this story might sound random, but if you might have read about it, it's kind of familiar. It's actually a retelling of the parable that is found in Matthew 25, starting with verse 14. And it's the parable of the talents. And I'm not going to explain that parable just quite yet. So keep an eye on future videos, and I have a strong feeling that will appear in one of them. But instead, I'm going to talk about why did Jesus speak in parables? Well, exactly what I did right there. It was a way to retell information through a story. And Brian kind of touched on this on his video he released yesterday. That Jesus used these stories to tell these fundamental principles about God in a way that would be understood by the people of the time. Now, if you're like me, you go through these stories and you kind of think the opposite. You think, why weren't they just brought out? Why weren't they just explained instead of these stories? Because I don't really get the stories. Well, there's two reasons that we kind of don't fully get them and maybe might be confused by them. The first one is that if you grew up in a church, if you grew up hearing about the gospel, hearing about what Jesus did, then these truths you already have heard of. But we need to remember at the time Jesus was speaking, he, this was before he was out at the cross. These were life-changing, and they still are, truths that were just hard to comprehend. And they still are. And a lot of times we can take these stories and these truths for granted. So maybe we can look at the parables and really try to dissect what is God telling me through this? 
and not just see it as the Sunday school face value, but really dig in to see what is God's truth, what is God's word saying, and what can I learn from this? And the second one is what I really want to um, talk about today, and it's the fact that we live in a completely different time and culture. As my example earlier, that would be kind of a parable in modern terms. It could be a business, it could be about technology, it could be about what we see in the world today, and maybe we would understand. But at the time, they needed different types of stories. And if you go through the different parables, most of them relate to either farming, planting, fishing, or relationships and different kind of um, values of the times that existed. Like a lot of them talk about a master and a servant. Those kind of get lost in now's time and those terms aren't used. By that time, it was very common. So these were things that most people would understand. And I think when we read these parables, we forget about that. We forget that Jesus is using these words so that his message is brought to as many people as it can. This is wonderful foreshadowing. Because if you look through the parables, there's not too many that talk about the synagogue. That talk about certain lifestyles that were only for the elect, for the elite of the time. Instead, these are things that almost everybody would relate to. That they'd understand. I think this is foreshadowing to what Paul talks about in some of his letters, especially in Romans, about this mystery that is revealed. And that mystery is the fact that God's love and God's promises are available to anybody. It doesn't matter what family you come from. It doesn't matter what ethnic background you have. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you can be saved. Not only that, you get God's promises. And if you go through scripture, God's promises are amazing. There are so many that we can see. And even, for example, go way back to the book of Genesis. Even those promises are brought forward to us. Which is just astounding. But that's only if you are in Christ as well. Now I do want to share a part of scripture that specifically says why Jesus spoke in parables. And it expands on it even more that not only was it to relate to the culture and the time period, but it was also was for not foretelling. It was accomplishing what the scriptures said. And here it's in Matthew chapter thirteen, starting with verse ten. Then the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? He answered them, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it has not been given. For to the one who has, more will be given. And he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. That is why I speak to them in parables. Because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear. Nor do they understand. Indeed, in their case, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled. That says, you will indeed hear, but never understand. And you will indeed see, but never perceive. For this people's hearts have grown dull, and with their ears they can barely hear, and their eyes they have closed. But they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For truly I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. So parables go even deeper than just relating to the culture of the time. These parables are fulfilling what the prophecy says in Isaiah, that these, it was meant to be challenging too. It was meant, not meant to be taken lightly. These are the truths of God. These are coming from a first-hand source, from Jesus Christ himself. They have a heavy value to that. And we even see the disciples a lot of time, they were even perplexed by some of the parables spoken by Jesus. 
at that moment they would go to, to Christ and he would explain it to them because they sought after him. I think that's something we could take away too. If there's anything in scripture that we don't understand, if there's something that confuses us, we can always go to God. We can always seek his wisdom and the Holy Spirit that is within us that reveals that wisdom. So I'm going to close us up in prayer. Um, and thank you guys for watching this. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, God, so much that your promises have been revealed to us. God, that we can be part of your family, part of your inheritance, not by any of our actions, but by Jesus Christ alone. God, we praise you for that. We thank you that Jesus revealed so many truths, so many wonders, and these wonderful stories that we can dive into. And every time we do, we learn something new, and that's because your word is living. The living word of God is what we have in the Bible, and we praise you for that. God, I pray that with all of these videos, with the study through parables, that we would grow closer to you, God. And God, I just pray for this time period we're living in right now. There is a lot of confusion, a lot of misunderstanding, but God, I pray for your clarity. God, I pray for your protection for those who are on the front lines, who are doing your work, whether they know it or not, and helping to save lives. God, I pray that you will bring healing upon this land and upon this world. And God, I pray while we wait that we, we would seek you this would be an opportunity that we would draw closer to you so that when we can be in community together again it will be even stronger that we will go out full in your spirit ready to proclaim your truth of the gospel god we thank you and we praise you in jesus name amen all right thank you to everybody who watched this just know that we are all praying for you that we love you um, for those from Awaken, uh, we can't wait to see you again. Um, we're continually praying for you. Um, hopefully soon we'll be back together again at the Awaken Center, learning and growing together. Um, and for anybody else who is watching these, uh, thank you. Um, we're praying for you as well. Hopefully there can be something out of this that God is revealing um, to you. I pray that he would use it in anybody who watches these. So thank you and God bless.